hey what up decisive marketers in today's video i'm going to be sharing a yet another uh, fun little uh, nifty plugin for your wordpress site um, and you guys have seen you guys might have seen my previous video on now for real as well as a uh, mesh right i, I kind of like this kind of uh, weird uh, tools that you you just kind of don't seem to you want to use them for your business but um, I do enjoy them I like this kind of uh, community tools as well as some of these uh, um, this this tool that that changes the uh, UI uh, for your visitors right and this tool is called duckle up and duckle up uh, allows you to activate dark mode on your website right on your wordpress website and it works for your front end as well as your admin dashboard and you can customize um, how the dark mode uh, looks like as well and i'm really impressed by uh, dark Lab and it doesn't seem to uh, slow down my site at all uh, so i was quite impressed with it i was quite hesitant to install um, additional plugins of my site i'm sure a lot of wordpress users are like that as well um, but with dark Lab, uh so far i have not come across that kind of issues and i'm like to share about duckle up with all of you and why it makes me feel a little bit excited about it and but before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content and let's dive in to duckle up so this is duckle up uh the this is actually um uh, my test site and i'm going to show you first uh i actually activate it on a live site and how it looks like so uh this i have i i got to tweak a little bit more to make it even nicer but um i i've just uh, played sufficient uh time with it to make it look uh, great here right so uh let's let's turn on so this is actually the toggle switch for the dark mode so this is how it looks like um i i've not set up the admin one for this so let me just use this one so this one kind of looks nice right okay the the default green one um, seems a little bit more comfortable from on your eyes but i don't really enjoy that that greenish looking um dark mode right so i i prefer this one uh in blue so it looks a lot nicer uh and, and it, it it kind of uh when i change it right this so this is the light mode and when i uh, i just want to uh I, I just want you guys to notice how you feel uh, on your eyes when I switch to the dark mode right so you feel a lot more comfortable on your eyes when you kind of change it to the dark mode and it doesn't seem to slow down your website at all I just I tested it out and uh, it, it kind of uh, I, I think this is great because with the dark mode it comes kind of makes you uh, able to work a little bit longer on your website Right, because sometimes when you spend so much time to on your WordPress website, it gets a little bit uh, tedious and uh, tiring on your eyes. And you know, switching over to dark mode seems to help. Uh, I would think so, right? And this is uh, the front end. Okay, so this is actually the block. And personally, I don't kind of I I wouldn't recommend you to probably use this on the home page right because you have a nice design and if you switch to dark mode it might kind of you know the change the entire view of the home page so i, I wouldn't necessarily uh, enable that on your home page but um, i would say that you might want to try enabling it on some of your blog pages because reading takes a lot of time and switching over to dark mode uh, it might help with you, you know the time on page for your visitors and it's a lot more uh, you know uh, easy on your eyes on your visitors eyes as well so this is the light mode okay and I'm going to switch to the dark mode right now and can you see you know how it feels it seems like it is it seems like the fonts are easier to read as well right so this is the dark mode and this is the light mode you kind of see that the fonts uh the the, the text seems to you know uh be even more 
are easy to read and it feels more comfortable on your eyes and uh, you know uh, of course you know some of the images are, are going to be affected okay but in general uh, you know it still feels a lot more comfortable on your eyes right and I kind of like uh, how it looks like and the other one I'm going to test it out is actually on my LMS right I'm using uh, Tutor LMS right here and um, you can kind of feel like with the Tutor LMS uh, you know uh, it's because your students are going to spend a lot of time here and of course giving them a great learning experience very important uh, but if you can also even enable dark mode for them then it looks uh, it feels a lot better right the only thing that i would probably have to tweak would be um, you can see this is the entire uh you know lesson right here right and it feels a lot easier uh, if you're gonna spend a lot of time learning right rather than you know uh, the light mode right because if you just imagine yourself spending let's say 30 minutes on this uh, this kind of uh, you know UI right here uh, on the light mode uh, how would your eyes feel right and then switching over the dark mode I think you might be able to last a little bit longer right uh, I just probably need to tweak some of the settings for the uh, font colors right here and it should look uh, great for uh, my students to learn right here okay so i i do like dark lab and let's take a look at some of the features that they have right so there's a light mode there's a dark mode so let's you know tweak this in the um dark mode right so we've got the back end uh back end uh, dark mode and the front end dark mode right so if you turn this on then this would be available on your front end website then this one will be on your back end dark mode and if you turn uh, OS aware then if their device sets uh, a dark mode then when they visit your website it will automatically show in dark mode and you have a uh, you know floating switch so this is the one right here okay and uh, advanced settings you can set dark mode at a certain time as well uh, and you can you know this is time based dark mode you can uh you know set dark mode as default you can switch uh display the switch in the menu right so you can actually set the menu location okay so like so you can set it in your menu location uh as well okay and you got switch uh the different styles of the switch you can have um like this you can have this uh you know different options on the switch and uh you do you can turn on two tip right so then you can have uh like a suggestion on what uh what this particular button is right so maybe you can have turn this on to read better or something like that right okay and uh let's see and you can set the background color two tip text color right you want to customize the switch color so so you uh you can customize the look of the switch itself as well okay then where the position of the switch is okay and you can set the margin so maybe you want to adjust uh for example i activate it right but actually i have a back to top button that is being overlapped right here as well as this pop-up so maybe i want to kind of maybe move my uh, toggle button over to the center right for example so maybe i can put here um, if there's center right no then i could probably then set some margin to push it down uh, to onto the center of the page as well and you can set the text and uh, whether you show above uh, post and show above pages right you can set that up as well and then uh, color settings so they actually give you different presets that will look good uh, on your website already you got so this is the default one um, which i don't really <laughs> enjoy myself uh, i prefer let's say the twitter or the facebook you know some of the blue ones and maybe the light green one i think that looks nicer or maybe this one here um, orange and yellow might be a little bit too bright pink um, as well uh, and then this is the uh, admin version 
then you can also customize uh, in detail the uh, you know the colors as well so these are presets and then these are you know custom uh, colors that you can see that you actually select yourself right you can so these are presets as well and then these are uh, admin so these are ad the admin colors as well right so you can uh, set that up as well and then you got the image so you can have a light mode uh, logo right so let's say if I turn this on uh, you can have a light mode logo and a dark mode logo as well and uh, image opacity and uh, so this is dark mode image upload okay so you got a light mode URL and a dark mode URL uh, dark mode image upload right so you can add uh, certain image for dark modes as well and then for WooCommerce uh, you can set certain products to not be on dark mode maybe because when you turn on dark mode it might make the uh, product image doesn't look as uh, good as you want uh, you can set them up as well categories and uh, you know filter elements so maybe some uh, elements you want to uh, include them in dark mode okay then you can uh, select them as well and you can also exclude certain elements from dark mode right, any triggers uh, so this are uh, so like as I said right you might not want to have them on your home page so then this is where you, you come in and exclude some of these pages or include only certain pages as well and you can even also set up some custom CSS for dark mode and uh, that's all I have in this uh, video here this is uh, dark up and I kind of am having fun with it and uh, and I I feel that uh, this this is a vanity plugin okay oh, I, I would definitely uh, say that this is a vanity plugin but I would say that it does help with your productivity as well so a lot of time you might feel that oh, we don't want to have to use a plugin like this because it you know might add more load onto your WordPress site but it doesn't seem to slow down my site and all that's at least what I've experienced um, but if uh, but it does you know it, uh, I, I would say that you know it helps to improve your productivity and it gives a very different experience uh, on your uh, visitors or customers or clients that visit your website and that might make things uh, a lot more interesting uh, and, and they you know they might enjoy the experience of being on your website so if you have you know uh, visitors that keep coming back and visit your website especially if, let's say you're writing a lot of blog articles or you also run like a learning management system then I would say uh, you know putting in a plugin like Darklock could uh, you know improve the entire experience of your visitors but for WooCommerce um, I wouldn't try to risk it personally uh, I wouldn't try to risk my conversion rate uh, I would think that you know the products look good on the light mode itself and I you know I wouldn't want to test it on the dark mode personally but of course you know if you don't mind uh, putting in that effort to to you know exclude certain products on 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 dark mode uh, then I think you know it might work for you as a WooCommerce uh, store as well but I would say that this is much more meant for um, blog uh, bloggers uh, uh, or let's say a um, a uh, you know a, a learning management system where people spend a lot of time on your website right so if, for example you use if you are running a WooCom store you know people generally don't spend a lot of time they, they you know probably maximum of 30 40 minutes they spend there they check out your products they buy what they need and then they leave the site right they, they don't generally stay too long that's what I would think uh, so I would say that you know enabling dark mode for uh, a blog site or a LMS site this would be awesome for you and that's all I have in this video uh, it's called dark club I have included 
the uh, the 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 free version, all right, the free version that you can actually install uh, on the WordPress website as well as the pro version in the links uh, in the video description. Okay, uh, definitely do try them out. Uh, I highly I recommend you guys to 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 try this out uh, because you know I I am having a lot of fun with it, uh, and I'll and and uh, hopefully you guys can support the developer by making use of uh, Dark Club on your website whether it's a free version of the paid version and i will see you in my next video uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, like my video and comment below if you have any question and share this with a friend that you uh, that you think can benefit from dark club and i'll see you in my next video bye bye